Welcome to the spoken tutorial on the importance of magnesium. In this tutorial, we will learn about minerals as essential nutrients, importance of magnesium in our diet, causes and symptoms of its deficiency, food sources of magnesium, and requirements for different age groups. Let's understand why minerals are necessary in our diet. Minerals are essential nutrients. We require minerals in small quantities for good health. Our body does not produce minerals by itself. Hence, they have to be taken through diet. Minerals are required for blood clotting. They help in maintaining blood sugar and blood pressure. Production of hemoglobin and red blood cells require minerals. They contribute towards muscle contraction and brain development. Minerals are also needed for strong immunity and production of thyroid hormones. Magnesium is an essential mineral needed by our body. It is required for muscle relaxation. It helps in sending and receiving messages by central nervous system. This nutrient is required for healthy bones and teeth as well. We also need magnesium for energy production and DNA synthesis. Let's try to understand the causes and symptoms of deficiency of this nutrient. Certain factors cause increased risk of magnesium deficiency. Among them are poor diet and intake of processed food. Other factors include excessive consumption of alcohol, tea and or coffee. Inadequate absorption of magnesium is also responsible for increased deficiency. During pregnancy, the requirement of magnesium increases. Failure to meet this requirement also leads to deficiency. Signs of magnesium deficiency include loss of appetite and weakness. It also includes headache, migraine and muscle cramps. If the deficiency progresses, people may experience abnormal heartbeat. Low levels of calcium and potassium are also a possibility. Magnesium deficiency increases the risk of type 2 diabetes and hypertension. It may also increase the risk of osteoporosis and heart diseases. Osteoporosis is a condition where bone density is reduced. The bones become fragile and prone to fractures. Other signs of osteoporosis are stooped posture, loss of height and back pain. To avoid deficiency, we must include magnesium rich food in our diet. Beans, nuts, seeds, leafy vegetables and grains are good sources of magnesium. Let's take a quick look at this nutrient content found in these food sources. 30 grams of beans have around 64 milligrams of magnesium. 2 tablespoons of seeds have roughly 123 milligrams. 100 grams of leafy vegetables have about 194 milligrams. 20 grams of nuts have around 61 milligrams. And 30 grams of grains have nearly 81 milligrams. Although we can get magnesium through diet, its absorption is also important. Phytates and oxalates present in the food hinder absorption of magnesium. Fiber also has the same effect. Soaking beans before cooking improves the absorption of this nutrient. 
so does fermentation germination cooking and roasting recommended intake of magnesium varies for different age groups 75 mg for 7 to 12 months babies 80 to 130 mg for 1 to 8 years old children 360 to 400 mg for adolescents 400 mg for 18 to 19 years old pregnant women 360 mg is recommended for 18 to 19 years old lactating mothers for adults 310 to 400 mg is advised for pregnant women it is 350 mg and for lactating mothers 310 mg is advised to meet these requirements include adequate magnesium rich food in your diet this brings us to the end of this tutorial thanks for joining